Hi guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be reviewing Kylie's <laughs> hand cream. Um, so I bought this because I'm a nurse and I wash my hands 24 seven, three days straight a week. And by the time I'm done with my shift, my hands are always cracked. They always hurt so badly. My nails are horrible like, because of it. And if there is anything I need, it is definitely hand cream. Um, I'm also going to be doing an update on the lip oil. So if you guys want to know my thoughts and opinions, just keep on watching. But before you swipe me away or click me on this video, please like, comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Okay, so one thing that I'm already iffy about is I don't like the packaging. Why? Because I feel like these bust on me all the time in my backpack. I do have a locker at work, which I could keep with me handy, but I travel with a backpack to and from my car uh, to work with my nursing stuff in it. The reason why is because I keep it in my car. You never know when you're gonna be a witness to an accident or anything like that. I just rather have all my nursing stuff handy with me, like my stethoscope and my, my scissors and anything else that's in there. I just rather have it handy with me so I do travel with a backpack and so I just don't feel like these are the most user-friendly things. I wish instead maybe it had a cap that I could like unravel instead of open like this but whatever no big deal it's only because I'm strictly using this for work. If I was just using this for my home I wouldn't care about the packaging but I bought it specifically for work and also I have brand new puppies and they <laughs> cleaning up after them. I'm consistently washing my hands. So the four days that I usually have off to give my hands recovery time, I don't have anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So usage apply to hands as needed. And there is nothing on here that specifically states what's in it. So I guess I will have to go onto her website, read real quick what it's supposed to do, and then I will get back to you. Okay, I found the website on my iPad. And it says Nourish and Relief. Formulated, I don't want that. Formulated with moisturizing shea butter and nourishing botanicals, oils, botanical oils. Our delightful hand cream indulges with moisture, guards from dryness, and help relieve damaged skin uh, surface for soft, cared for and silky smooth hands. Apply generously and rub until the formula is absorbed as you need. Pair with our hand sanitizer. So the key features are it has shea butter. Get a moisturizer with a naturally fatty acids with natural fatty acids to help smooth and relieve skin. Coconut oil. Okay, so it has coconut oil in it. I love her products because they all smell like coconut oil or coconut and I love coconut. <laughs> uh, highly nourishing extract to infuse skin with moisture. Uh, I think I'm going to say this wrong, but it's Jehovah oil or Jojoba. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, seed oil. Stop with all the damn pop-ups. Um, a caring botanical oil to help soften skin. Sunflower seed oil. It's a rich emollient to help lock in moisture. It's vegan, dermatologically tested, and fragrance-free. Okay, so maybe this one won't actually smell like coconut, but I usually love all her products because they do. So one thing for me in a hand cream, I hate when I wash my hands and then I feel like they are greasy. So let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, does it have a protective seal on it? It does, that's good for every safety person out there nowadays. I like that it's white. It's with the first, I think, the body. Oh my God, this is really soft. Oh, okay, so in my opinion, it somewhat smells like hand sanitizer. Not hand sanitizer. Um, not hand sanitizer. What is that stuff? Sunblock, you guys, I'm so sorry. I don't have a script ever. This is just me rambling for 10, 15 minutes every time I film. So it always like whatever's on my head is what's on my head. Um, okay, so it is very soft so far, but I do feel a little bit of a greasiness and i don't like that and as you can see okay super moisturizing i will give it that but there's so many things that i touch at work daily that i just if i go open a bathroom handle and someone grabs it afterwards i would feel grossed out if i was that person grabbing the bathroom handle afterwards i'd be like ew who touched this and what was on their hands um but 
that is very very soft i can appreciate that because like i said it hurts physically hurts at the end of the day to um go home after washing your hands in and out of every single room after every glove you wear it is just a lot so I'm going to keep testing this out and keep using it. Honestly, now I think I'm just going to keep this at home and use it at home because it is a little too greasy for my uh, taste, I guess, just um, based off what I do and I'm constantly washing my hands. I do think it is moisturizing enough, but it is a little greasy and I have to type all day and do stuff and give meds and open stuff and handle needles. So I don't think I will be using this at work, but at home, I think this is great for traveling. It's a cute little pocket size, can fit in your purse. I'm not a purse girl, but it'll be, <laughs> it'll fit in there. And then, okay, let's update the oil. Ha, okay. So I'm not gonna put it on because I do have lip gloss on, however, when I first tried this, I didn't know what to think about it. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I did say how there was no tackiness. It didn't feel sticky. I don't know why I thought it would feel sticky when um, it's an oil. <laughs> but I love the smell of it, coconut, like similar. And the doe foot is pretty huge. I actually don't like that the doe foot is so big because it's so, I mean, it covers your whole lip. That's what's great about it. But I feel like it's just so flimsy. Not like it's not flimsy, but like, I don't know. I just, I'm so used to a smaller doe foot. Um, but everything that it says it does, it does. Like you're, you go to sleep with this on it. I remember reading one of her texts that one of her friends sent her how they go to sleep wearing this and their lips are so silky smooth soft the next day. And it's true. It, it really is. It is amazing. Um, will I buy it again? No. And only because it is $22. I don't want to compare it to a chapstick and say like psh, everything a chapstick could do because it obviously does nourish and like make your lips feel nice but for $22 I feel like I could just keep putting chapstick on that's only 99 cents um so I will not purchase it again but I am glad that I tried it because I really do like it and to be honest somebody had mentioned like $22 that's a lot of money it is but I bought this when it came out I use it almost every night and I still have a lot so a little does go a long way I use it after every shower and at night when I'm gonna go to sleep, I use it before I go on the treadmill, like when I'm in my little home gym and it has lasted me a very long time and it does, I feel, keep my lips like nice and not chapped because I am always that girl <laughs> with a bunch of chapstick, owns millions of chapsticks and always just has chapped lips. And I think this has um, prevented me from having that, but, $22? I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it again. I mean, it's not something that I will definitely absolutely need to have like my walnut scrub of hers or my vitamin C serum or anything like that. Like it's not one of those items, but I do like it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch my next little video, whether it's on this side or this side. Have a great day, guys. Bye.